Hi, everyone. How are you doing tonight? Good morning. Okay, it's one. <laughs> it's still tonight. Um, so hi, yes, I'm still Keeland. Um, and I study learning and memory like most of you. You picked well. Um, and uh, uh, I particularly study sequences of events. And this is a fundamental form of memory. You use it every day. And I can prove this to you because we've all been to restaurants. We were kind of at one right now. Um, and you know when you go to a restaurant, you walk in and they take you to your table. They give you your drinks. You order your food. They bring your food. Um, they clear the table. And then the waiter or waitress comes back and hands you the Joe? Bill. Yes, the bill. Uh, and so, so how is it that you're able to do that in any situation that you can walk into and you can effectively predict the future? Um, it's because your brain has this critical capacity that it's using all the time um, to form these sequences of events. Um, so we get to study this in the lab, um, and we know it's a really important form of memory because it's one of the first uh, forms of memory impaired across a wide range of diseases. This ranges from Alzheimer's to schizophrenia, even addiction and normal aging. Uh, so the question is, how do we get to study this? And so in our lab, we use animal models, um, and we implant uh, electrodes into the brain and record the conversations from hundreds of neurons. Um, we know that there's two brain regions that are critical for this capacity. Um, you all have them in your heads right now, and you might not even know it. Uh, one of them is the hippocampus. It's about a pinky-shaped brain region right in from your ear a little bit. Um, and if you don't have one, you can't form memories. And we found that in our lab that the hippocampus is actually extracting events from your daily life and stitching them together into a sequence of events. And as Etan's lab had previously said, um, the hippocampus replays these throughout the brain. Um, so you can use the memory as you need it. Um, we also found that the prefrontal cortex is really critical for this capacity. That's right behind your forehead. Um, most of you have one. I didn't until I was 25. Um, and we know that the, what the prefrontal cortex really does is it tries to abstract over multiple memories. Um, and it tries to pull out the gist of experience and really forms the schematic framework to fit other memories into. Um, so what we really find is that at every moment you're integrating the past and the present to make decisions about the future, um, and we couldn't do any of this without um, the CNLM, all of you, the doctors, Yasa. I like that. That, that's gonna, that has to stick. Um, and definitely Dr. Renee Harwick, who I wish could be here, but I'm really grateful um, to have received this award. And importantly, Joe for his great contribution to this bit. Thank you all. <laughs> 